<laughs> you <laughs> are <laughs> wow. so on point. <laughs> oh, welcome to my rolls. <laughs> the nice gods don't game. like him very well. <laughs> the the digital dice gods don't like. Mm -hmm. I wonder what your character thinks it is. I don't know. What does my character think of this, Axel? I don't know. Oh, what does your God? character think of this, Michael? Read your messages. Oh. Oh, you sent me a message. <laughs> One sec. I should start sending him both. Eh. I'll just... That way. That's easier. <laughs> Looking at the symbol, I recognize... The symbol as the as the symbol for the god Garl Glitter Gold. Oh god. <laughs> uh okay. <laughs> hmm. Honest, honestly, I haven't really heard much about him. I just know that this is his symbol. Can I make a religion right. check to see if that's an actual god? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, wow. Natural 19 plus 5. 24. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Give me a moment. And you were just saying, you said to see if he was a real god. That is a real god. Yes. That's, that's all I needed to yep, know. Yep, that is a real god. <laughs> all right. So then, then with that, I would believe that <laughs> yeah. he said, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Looks at you quite um, questionably, but shrugs and is like, oh, okay, sure. I, I'll I'll just lean over and be like, it sounds like a cartoon character, but yeah, it's a, it's a real deity. So. <laughs> I love that as being like literally like a med student or some just asshole is like, I remember reading about that someday. Yeah, that's cool. That's it. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> he just grabs the takes the, the things and just toss them over her shoulder like okay whatever I don't care about these anymore <laughs> that sounds stupid would I would I know if Garl Glitterbomb whatever his name is Glitterbomb. <laughs> would, I, would I know if he's if he or she is like a vengeful god because if so then you I would could just absolutely like, make a roll <laughs> let's go 19 total <laughs> Oh my god. No, 20 total. So you just want to know if they're a vengeful god? Was that what I'm yeah. hearing? Like, if they would uh, care if I just toss their, their gloves aside? Yeah, cause, cause um, cause there, happens... there is a fair chance, honestly, probably 50-50, that, that that god would, whatever, if it is, was that god, if it was Garl, that he would absolutely 50-50 might get back at you for doing that. He, whoa, he whoa, could whoa, be whoa. that petty. Whoa, whoa. I'll run over to it and I'll like brush it <laughs> off and like, and then like brush it over the cloth bar and just be like, okay, okay. You can't just do that with relics. This guy could kick the crap out of you. It's I'll just, gloves. I'll just put it in my pocket. Dirty what? gloves on oh, top of gloves? that. Oh, then I'll, yeah, I'll just put them in my backpack for now. <laughs> like, you have to, you have to treat relics with the utmost dignity. It's dirty gloves. It's basically laundry. Your dirty laundry. I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> hot. <laughs> Rolls her eyes and looks around some more. It's gotta be something better in here. Um. <clears throat> so you said there was another level, like she came down from the level. So are there more stairs that I see? Um, I was up top. Okay, so then I would probably walk to the top of the deck and see if I can find some stuff. Sure, I'll follow. I shall make my way back and follow as well. But we will not have a repeat of what happened last time. I don't feel like taking ah, the ball again. Yes. <laughs> One at it a was time. You now. That I heard. Yeah, I kind of fell through the steps. Yeah, he was a bit fat, so 
Well, we had a little bit of an issue. That was pretty funny. So once you get up there, you can see sales. They are uh, uh, pointing up. There's still a pretty decent amount of damage to the ship up here. Probably a little like more. Halfway through. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, you know, sails, pretty old ship, decent damage to it. There doesn't seem to be really much up here. Some, you know, old cannons and stuff, it looks like. They're real old, rusted, barely barely look like cannons anymore, really. Hmm. And uh, a random seagull. And a random buzzard. A random buzzard? Yeah. Is the buzzard over a corpse? No, he's just chilling. He's just chilling? Yeah, close to the seagull, funny enough. See, this is why I don't go into ships. <laughs> you don't like birds? Yeah, fuck them. Fuck Have birds. you ever seen the movie Birds? <laughs> birds! birds What's a movie? Birds! This... <laughs> I've only been to the theater. Have you seen the theater show Birds? <laughs> it's actually quite ah, a pleasure. That one. <laughs> and now Freddian Hitchcockian. <laughs> I am I am very versed in his works. As long as it's not that stupid cat play. <laughs> God damn it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alrighty. But yes. Shank. So you are on the top deck, you know, there is a top deck. Do do I see any piles of bones on the top deck? No, you surprisingly there doesn't seem to be any bones, you know, like people bones, maybe like some mouse bones. Um, goes up a Bird little bones. further and I guess checks investigation to see if I find anything. Ooh. Ooh. So with that roll of uh, 18, you are able to see what looks like some sort of map. Ooh, the map. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's like jammed into like the steering wheel or something. Dun, dun. Nice. And uh, it's pretty messed up. All right, um, carefully takes it out <laughs> with care. All right. Uh... I uh, feel like that's a dex check, I guess. Yes. Or I'm gonna do a perception to see if I can find a 12, captain's 12. quarters up here, since it is a ship, and usually the captain quarters is on the deck. Yes, and so you do indeed go up there and see that there is indeed a captain quarter looking area where there's a nice door that's just on the other side of the stairs to when you go to the south. You know. Okay, so it's like back here, exactly. or more up over here. So it would be, so the the northern stairs are like right there. So it would be kind of towards the centerish of the boat, mid mid okay, center so, under the mast, basically. Okay, so it's like right here. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go up to the door and. Uh... I'm going to uh, see if it's locked. So I'm going to like jostle the handle. If it's uh, locked. It doesn't seem to be locked, but it does seem to be stuck. Mm. It's like the handle will rotate, but you cannot push it open. So, are there any windows? I'm, I'm going. I'm going to attempt to pull it open. <laughs> you can't pull it open either. <laughs> I think learned from his <laughs> He said he may or may not be traumatized from that account. Alright, well, since it doesn't want to work with me, I'm going to use my strength to kind of, like, body check it open. Alright. Go ahead and roll that big-ass strength bonus, buddy. 1d20. That's a 1. Plus 5. Don't you fucking jinx me, Gamma. I really hope you did now, because that would be funny. 16. 16. Hey. Yeah, no, I mean, you're pretty big, and that's a decent roll. You're able to, like, shove it open. It goes screech, because that particular door is made of metal, because it's the captain's door. Or is it? <laughs> or is it? All right, with it open, I'm now in the room, and I'm going to uh, look around the room. Hopefully my perception doesn't fuck me on this. 
14. Not bad. Let's say that that's good enough for that. You are able to uh, Oh, there we go. That's that'll help. You found a sword. A sword? What does the sword look like, good sir? Well, I mean, it looks like a new sword. <laughs> does it have any intricate symbols or designs on the handle or the pommel or the blade itself? Well, give me just a moment as I search through the contents of this which, posting which i will be using my passive this, perception which is oh, an 11 for that this, here. this should be am i on the wrong page oh that's bowls and xanthers damn there's so many books and i knew more things were in here motherfucker all right well i'll do that one later so damn both those books ah uh, must be up a bit Ruby. Oh, there we go. There we go. Dead, dead. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ready for ya. Why you, go, why you gotta be this ways? There we go. I don't know why that was so hard to find. So, unfortunately, you guys are on the roof, so you're actually in daylight. You pull it out, it just looks like common sword. It just looks like a common sword, huh? You know, it's, I mean, it's, just, it's nice. It's good make, but it's not like fancily ornate. doesn't have rubies in it. Who knows if it's magic or not? Cough, cough, I would. Cough. <laughs> what? Oh, cough, cough, cough. You'd never tell us anyway. Oh, no. shit's <laughs> fired! <laughs> This is something that you Here's the thing, if you could, if you had to compare I just would help you <laughs> She's not really in the group, she's just around the group. <laughs> <laughs> You're really part of the team. I am the only she's one just who is around. Around. <laughs> She just hangs around with the team. I don't really know what, what she does here. But it's okay. We'll be okay. Well, well I I'm not exactly going to do anything too special with the sword. I'm just going to kind of toss it into my backpack Ooh. ever so carefully. So or more this... like slide it into the backpack. Is this stuff like right here? Like, do I, is it actual like mechanics, mechanical stuff that is there or is that just this picture so it's pretty much just the picture there's some things like i'm basing off of it but okay. uh yeah it's pretty much like you do see that there are mechanical pieces but they're not those specific gotcha. mechanical like rotors you know what i mean gotcha okay then uh while everybody's doing their thing i'm gonna go up are there like there were, you said there were cannons yes uh, I'm going to go over to the cannons. I'm just going to kind of look at, like, the levels of dust on them and just see, like, how old and how long it's been since these weapons have been treated. Because as a soldier, I, I knew you clean your weapons daily. You make sure they're ready to be fired or used in, in the a blink of an eye. So I know that they're clean daily, but these might not be that way so how long it's been since they've actually been tended to gotcha well definitely make a make a roll i will make a roll that is a natural 19 plus whatever you want to oh, add well that is Certainly. pretty good uh i'm gonna go ahead and say that uh yeah you know you can tell that these here weapons haven't seen a good cleaning in hundreds of years you haven't seen something like this since 
you know, they used to pull up pictures of the old war history strategy things. So it's very, uh-huh. very much a uh, case of like when, when on earth would these, you know, last even used? Like, even you know, you, your grandparents, grandparents perhaps could have used this. Who knows? It's old as fuck. I think the moral of the story is it's old as fuck. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a ship that <laughs> fell out of the sky but has not been seemingly touched by any hands for hundreds of years this is perplexing huh hey Axel while in the captain's quarters do I see like a, a, a desk or anything in there Oh my bad, you... I forgot what your thing was. Ah, 14. Uh, you see for your role, you were able to see that there is like a desk. There seems to be like, you know, his living-ish quarters and, you know, private area study with maybe some books and stuff. And uh, on the ground, there seems to be a real old safe. Oh, a safe. I do say a safe. And so what were you saying again? <laughs> Uh, gamma, but if you got stuff to add, you're always welcome to me. Oh, because oh, no. I, I had rolled earlier to see if I could get the map out. You definitely can. That is my bad. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the different things going. That's okay. I understand. What? You're a DM. You're supposed to know everything at every point. I um, have it all on the paper, but I can't read. <laughs> I think I got a 14, if I remember correctly. You did. It's uh, yeah. or like a twelve, but regardless, it's good. It's fine. All right. Can it's... I? Um. What would I need to roll to um, to investigate to see if it's the same map that I had read? Uh, I guess it's, that's just a personal check. That one, I guess, you should just be able to kind of look and tell, and it is the same one. <laughs> so now you got Mine. two. <laughs> Yay, I have a thing, and I know things. Yay. Yay. So that's a that's a twenty to inspect the safe. Uh, you can see that this safe is old and it's been busted into already. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if there's any contents left inside the safe. All righty. So looking inside of that safe, <laughs> come on, load up or not. That was not what I thought it was. You were able to get a very interesting set of inscribed bones. Those aren't ominous at all. And it's in a copper coffer. And it's locked. You can see it because the coffer has like holes. So it's like a rattly cage for it, for the bones. I'm going to take the backpack off my back, and I'm going to gently sent, set that coffer-looking thing into my backpack. Alrighty. And then I'm going to search the, the desk and all the drawers. Come on! Yeah! Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> oh my Jesus. <sighs> so. You found an eight sided die. Well, I'm I'm not gonna grab the eight sided die because I have no interest in it. Okay. Uh you said I saw books in there? Yes. Oh uh, I'm gonna go over to the books and I'm going to open up one of the books. Okay. It, uh, uh, it immediately starts screaming at you. But oh. I instantly close the book. Do we hear this outside? Yeah. I would say that I'm probably up here by this. So we heard that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm running over then. Keeps... What, 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 what was that? You're probably not going to believe me, but holds up the book that he has clenched between his two hands. It was this. Hashtag I don't believe you. It's like... Well, okay. <laughs> okay. So... Explain it to me again. What? How about I just, how about I just show you Open's book? Nothing happens. The fuck? Starts flipping through the pages. The pages are all empty. I swear to god, this book fucking screamed. I mean, I heard a scream. H how high pitch was the scream? It was, uh, about like, it sounded like a man. Okay. Are you sure you just weren't scared by a spider? There's a bunch of cobwebs everywhere. I swear on my oath to Bahamut that this book screamed. Okay, okay. Run, run me through what you like. Do exactly what you did again. Oh, fine. Puts book on shelf. Grabs book. Opens book. Nothing happens. Try, try another book. Maybe Puts it's book. the books. Puts book back on shelf, grabs another book, open book. Nothing happens. <laughs> puts shelf, closes, puts book on shelf, grabs other book, opens. Nothing happens. At this point, <laughs> do I believe him at the beginning? That's up of the story? to you. Uh, that is a character only she's... thing. Like, I'm if you want to check for deception, you can actually ex absolutely roll to see, but currently, I mean, that's up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna roll a d6, and if it's 1 through 3, I don't believe you. If it's 4 through 6, I'm gonna continue trying to help you. <laughs> Alright, you're full of shit, and I'm gonna <laughs> walk <laughs> I'm gonna grab all the books that I grab, and I'm gonna put them in a stack on the floor, and I'm gonna grab my greatsword, and I'm gonna run it through the fucking books. Oof. No, I, 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 I screamed, like, make him tell him to stop. I was laughing in the back. No. <laughs> I'm like, nope. no, stop, nope. put it Too down. Late. No. Too late, no. I already impaled the books with my greatsword. God damn it. <laughs> this will be interesting. Because I don't think, unless your greatsword's magical, I don't think magical. It's, 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 a great, it's a great sword of wounding, so it has a magical property. Oh, okay. Then it could destroy magical books. Ooh. Indeed. May have just well, destroyed a national treasure. <laughs> Well, yeah, too fucking might, bad. They want to fucking destroy scream at me. Treasure two, the Book of Secrets. Yeah, but you know, like, we could find it out. You know, you didn't have to destroy it. I am not going to be made a fucking liar by some books. <laughs> I was just lying. I didn't say whether or not I believed you. So you get through every single book until the last one, at which point your sword... Uh, the tip of it breaks. What? Excuse me. Alright, so I... I tell him to shoo, shoo. And then I use... I'll use, um, shoo. There's this one that knows that it's a magic object. 
magic. There's detect magic, and then there's identify, which identifies. Like, I think pop. I have identify. I have, yeah, I have it. You know, I completely forgot I have detect magic. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and let you stew on that for a minute. <laughs> I'll use the identify. That, that goes with your four. That four that you rolled, that was you forgetting that you have distract magic. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm gonna use identify to see okay. why. Give me Oops. but a moment so I can read the full explanation of it, and I assume you're just casting it as a level one since it is a... Yeah, just level one. Okay, that is your second level one of the day, by the way. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right. Fuck, breaking. So you don't soul. know the name, uh, but you do know that this item is... It, uh will scream if you haven't written anything inside of it for more than 24 hours the first time you open it if you haven't written like, yep if there's wrote. if nothing's been written inside of it for 24 hours it'll scream the very first time you open it then you have another right. 24 hours and it'll scream again if you open it all right i'll tell him okay it's because it only screams once if you haven't written in it in a while. Just give it some time and it'll scream at you again if you want to. It hey, broke my head, fucking sword. <laughs> it oh, broke yeah. my fucking sword. The yeah. the book can also only be destroyed if all of the pages have been filled out. <laughs> ha ha there there. <laughs> this character doesn't give two shits. I'm like, so much. <laughs> Man, you're a strong guy, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm so. gonna dispel magic on that book. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using dispel magic on the book. What are you doing? He's, he's destroying it. I know, I know what he's doing, but I'm screaming at him as a character. What are you doing? No. Because <laughs> there's no point in a book that screams every 24 hours. Uh, yeah, if you don't okay, write in roll... it, you can just write in it, or you can find out what it says first. <laughs> what is that? So you book? decide to destroy it. Alright, you have to make a check of your spellcasting ability. <laughs> So D twenty plus your spellcasting mod. All right. So that'd be one D twenty plus three. Is yelling at him the entire time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just wasted a third third slot level. You absolutely did, sir. Apologies. Oh. <laughs> All right. So Neely, uh. I really thought you had that one in the bag. I did not know your, uh... Neely grabs the book and is like, you're not allowed to touch papers and books anymore. Just shush. Go away. He's Shut like, up. my sword! <laughs> my sword! <laughs> Stabs the other books more. Because <laughs> that's yeah. not what got you into this mess. <laughs> also, it's harder now. You don't have the tip. <laughs> It's just the tip, too. It's not like the whole thing. It's just the very tip of your sword, basically. That entire tip. <laughs> okay. Keeps the actual magical away from him. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make my way to the... To the... Is that the stern? I, the I, 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 you're the asking front. the wrong guy. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're dead. Uh, no, not with the, the right naked guy. Lady on it. Naked ladies, naked ladies, naked ladies. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of do a sweep, see if there's anything interesting around here. Uh, so far, uh, nothing. It's pretty okay. boring. Pretty boring up there. Just regular old busted. Floorboards. Floorboards, random pieces of shit. It's a pretty bare bones deck, honestly. 
Like you've got the mast, the captain's quarters, you got the steering wheel, and then you got the bow and the stern, whatever, you know, the different sides of the ship, some cannons on each side. Although at the back you do see like the area where the anchor for the ship was, which is just kind of the back left. And you see that the anchor is dropped. Huh. Can I can I make an investigation check around the area to see if it has been disturbed recently compared to the other parts of this ship? Yes. Mm. Plus one. Uh, ooh, 18. So, yes, you see that this particular piece, it looks like there's scrapings where the rust has come off from when the anchor was actually released. You also see that there seems to be, like, near that, where the anchor kind of slides off to the side, like broken ropes and other things that are just, like, snapped and hanging off the side of the boat. When I'm talking ropes, I'm talking like twice as thick as the one you're carrying around, corded several times. That are snapped. Yep. Like cut snapped or weight was too heavy snapped? It's It seems almost like a cut, but it's like frayed in a way that makes it seem that it's not a cut. Gotcha. So it doesn't uh, feel like and, they like pulled and snapped apart, but it also doesn't feel look like it was clean, like a clean cut necessarily. Is the is the anchor still attached to the boat or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's like and still hanging below. off the boat. Yeah. Oh. And how how high up am I? Currently at the. At the top of this boat, you are probably 50 or 60 feet off the ground. And the chain for the anchor... Yeah. All the way down to the ground. All the way down. Yep, and the anchor's all the way on the ground. So it, it's actually to the side of where the inn would have been laying down. Gotcha. Alright, I'll make a note of that, because I want to check that out once we're off of this thing. It's not a bad plan. Mm. Uh... Can I read the book? I mean, see if I can read the book, if I understand it. Sure. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Damn it. It is an empty book. Kapuro's still there, mumbling. My fucking sword. <laughs> pat, pat, there, there. We'll get you a new one. I don't want a new one. I want this sword. We'll find you the shiniest of swords to match your shiny little Shiny swords! Yay. That's a good boy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finally make my way back to them. They're still pouring over this book or something. <laughs> Nerds. I'm just gonna um, laugh when he gets in there and it's like, what happened? My sword's broken now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> holds out sword. The tip's broken. That's what she said. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. I tried so hard not to do it, and this one I was just like. And that's what she said. <laughs> uh, I'll just be. I'll just be like, do you, do you find any interesting? And then I'll see all the books shredded up on the ground. We found mm. things and or stuff. <laughs> Insight check. That's a six. Cool. <laughs> you are fairly certain they were attacked by a wolverine. <laughs> it wasn't uh, a one, Lord, but I... where did it come from? Well, I, I did know. find this. Takes off his backpack and pulls out the coffer that has the bones in it. Bones! My bones! What are those? I just oh, told oh. you they're my bones! <laughs> no. Uh, Do you well, a boner now? They're... <laughs> it's 
an object that has bones in it. It was inside that safe. It it has bones, okay? Bones. Huh. What? And like, they're what, also what, engraved. What? Wait, they're engraved? Yeah. What, what kind of bones are they? Are they humanoid bones? Are they... I, I didn't inspect them too closely. I just saw that they were bones in a coffer and they were engraved. Hey, you remember that thing that you can do when you can make your eyes see magic stuff? Should we maybe try that on the bones? I didn't think about that one. That's why I'm gonna use detect magic. Using... Finally, so, give people with uh, intelligence in class. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going to use detect magic. Yes, you detect a large amount of magic coming from these. Oh, oh my! And I believe it should also tell you certain things about it, such as its class. All right. Uh, for the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense any magic this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. And you learn its school of magic, if any. There you go. That's what I thought. Jeez, uh, now I gotta go look up schools of magic. I know some of them, but I can't remember their fucking application some of them with that detect magic you would see that my arm glows a little bit Ooh, so uh, shiny hot i think it would be enchant well this one would probably yeah i think so well because different ones do different things yeah it's enchanted but it could be enchanted with illusion magic or oh trans gotcha yeah because <laughs> all magic items are enchanted well, yeah, they're enchanted. Uh, this one, though, I believe should be... No, not that one. Should be transmutation. Yes, these bones are indeed magical, and it is a transmutation magic they're enchanted with. So, which is kind of unsettling. Yeah, can they change people into things, or do they change into things? Ugh. Well, can, can we tell like what? Can I get a closer look and see if they're like humanoid bones, if they're animalistic, monstrosity, anything like that? Yeah, you can definitely I'm, take a closer look. I'm going to do something potentially stupid. I'm going to open up the coffer. <laughs> uh, sh should mine be a investigation or a medicine? Or maybe even nature? Let's check. Or should I just roll and then you pick? Yep, yeah, just roll for that one because you wouldn't you wouldn't know off the top of your head. Alright, that was a 17. My dice is like... I'm going to use a different one next time to show that it's just that dice. <laughs> that dice just needs to go to dice jail. No! no. I need to go to <laughs> dice heaven and then always stay in my possession forever. So, uh, the, the coffer's locked. And as far as your determination, I gotta double check, but I don't think we got it. What was the roll again, sorry? It was 17 plus whatever. Actually, yeah, you might have got it then. So it looks like, and you were trying to figure out what kind of bones they were? Yeah. So they look like angel bones. Oh, so I would kind of be familiar with that being part celestial, right? Yes. Well, the oh. coffer's locked. Yep. I'm going to pull that sword out of my backpack and I'm going to try to break the lock. 
Okay. And I'll I'll relay that they're angel bones. Well, that sure is interesting, isn't it? That makes me so roll a uh, strength safe? check, I guess. Yep. Makes me feel safer about getting a closer look. <laughs> also, makes me feel fuck unsafe with the fact that we are in the bo we are in the presence of the bones of angels. Meaning an angel has died, and whoever or whatever was on this ship got their hands on these angelic bones. Well, I rolled a nine to try to break that lock with that sword that I found in the cabin. Sorry, the you wanted to use the one locked in the cabin, right? Yes, the one that I found in the cabin. Yeah. The one that I put in my backpack, the fucking one-handed sword. Yes. Also, Since my great sword's does, already broken. <laughs> how long does detect magic last? Because about a minute, I believe. Okay, so it would probably be beyond the point where you would see if that specific yeah. sword was magical. Mm, I guess I don't know how long you think it would have taken him to just kind of look and do all that for talking. I guess about a minute. I'd say around then, but that's up to the DM to decide. This is true. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you uh, you tried to do the damage to the thing, and it, you, you didn't do a good swing. Oh, you wanted me to roll an attack roll? Well, I was doing just strength, but like you just didn't oh, do a good okay. swing. Like you you suck. <laughs> You suck. That was you basically suck. it. You strength. You were weak right there instead of strong. You were pretty I'll scared. show this fucking lock. We're gonna try again. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. At this point, your hands are just like you're just wondering if you should even be a paladin anymore. And it's like hey, <laughs> starting to wonder if God really... maybe wants this lock to live. No. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna get frustrated. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna throw it against the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% honest. I have no clue what these do yet, so I'm gonna go check. They are. The, if the box is. <laughs> in, let's do. Let's do this first. End. Let's do this. Uh, high or low, Michael? Uh, <laughs> let's go high this time because I went low last time. Yeah, you went high. Okay. He's typing out the fact that you have to now roll a new character. That's kind of stupid that I rolled a four both times. <laughs> you weren't destined to do the thing. So, <laughs> uh, once you do that, uh, a loud bang goes off, and everybody needs to make a roll. What kind of roll? A reflex roll. Okay. God damn it, it has to be a reflex. Saving or just reflex? Saving. Okay. So you Let's do get see that if bonus. My other from dice the is very nice to me. Yep. It is not. That would be a Shit. nine. Which one is again? Dexterity. And you yeah. add a uh, plus three to that on top of your normal bonus if you have one because of my aura of courage or protection. Oh, plus three to that? Yes. Awesome. Oh. Well. Ah. <laughs> oh, hey, damn. We're both yeah. at 12. <laughs> no, that, that plus 7 is with her 3. Oh. Oh, man. Mm. So, what I get for laughing at every... Because <laughs> I rolled a 15. Uh, that's funny. You... you... 
Uh, you've all been hit by a heavy force, basically, and it pushes you down onto the ground. You are now uh, immobilized for a moment. Well, that's I, uh, was that after the box hit the the coffer hit the wall? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Like I was saying, as I as I'm just like laying there trying to get up. Don't just throw things. Maybe maybe we can get people who know what they're doing to identify. I vote the paladin just stops touching things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be a wise decision. You've lost your touching abilities. <laughs> but no touching touch. I, I can still touch you, right? Ooh. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh no, now your arm's gonna... <laughs> I liked that arm, too. Uh, yeah, so Neely, are you able to, uh, identify anything about this? Identify anything about what now? About, you know, wow. the box that just uh, attacked us by being thrown. Uh, rolls her eyes and then goes to look at it. What do I do? Um, is it, or should I do a religion check, or? I think it'd actually be Arcana. Arcana? Okay, okay, Arcana. it's the same. Anyway, Arcana, 10. Oh. Oof. Our rolls are shit tonight. <laughs> so you can tell oh. this, <laughs> that it's cursed. Oh no, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. Also, it seems that just the box is cursed. Oh. So is she going to relay that information to me? That's up to her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's up to you if you tell us. Well, yep. it is cursed, given the fact that you know we almost died there. You know by what or who? What or what? What, what is cursed? Is it the bones? Is it the box? Again, I don't hear anything <laughs> about where this makes me. <laughs> you know. Richer for knowledge, Ugh. friendship. You're a bard. This is just part of the story. <laughs> I only talk about myself in my stories. <laughs> and you know what's great about this? Very bardish. Is that you get to talk about how you figured out and relayed all of this information <laughs> to your dim-witted friends. And you were the hero. You were. You know, I know I, you're playing I, me we here. We groveled at your feet for I, days. I, I, I raise up my hand, give you a thumbs up. <laughs> to be fair with Do you, you it's not that, that incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do like when people grovel. <laughs> I mean, um, we're actually not going to grovel, but we'll let you get away with saying we groveled. Uh, same difference. Um, <laughs> How about I, we say I let you do that and you say I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Yes, it's just a box. So we just oh, gotta, no. that makes my job a lot easier. Hops you up don't. to his feet, grabs the box, and uses remove curse. Oh. It's a good idea. Very now nice. let me see if he can actually... I was a little off this time. Nope. I was... Nope. At my touch, all curses of Oh, that's right. That's his object. Yep. yep. That is true. I had that on my cleric, and I was like, I wish I was. It is no longer cursed. Also, she rolled a 10. I want you to remember that. <laughs> yep. So it's no longer cursed, cough. So, uh, does anyone else want to try to break the lock since it's not cursed anymore? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my crowbar and I'm gonna try, try that thing. Okay. Uh, 
So you remember when I told you that my dice was really good to me? Were you uh -huh. lying to me now? My dice just gave me a natural one. Oh. And That's awesome. That's freaking fantastic. I don't think I have a crowbar anymore. I don't think I have a crowbar anymore. So uh, you tried to pry it open and basically like jimmied it off and it hit the floor again. Hmm. And uh, sorry, there. Okay, up here. Yeah, okay. Uh, everybody may try to make a strength save. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't you screw me again. Uh, Yay. Remember, add the plus three. Strength? For that. Add, uh, oh. Plus three from my protection, oh. aura of protection. I don't think uh, they did that saving last time. Throw? It is a strength saving throw. Uh, 30. Jesus. Holy yep. fuck. I rolled a natural 19 plus 8. I rolled a net 19 and I have a plus 8, so that's a 27. Don't you get plus 3? Or was that with your plus 3? That's with plus 3. Ah. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, my bad. You have I proficiency, forgot. don't you? Yeah, that's, no, that's... No, my proficiency is wisdom and charisma as a paladin. Oh, that's right. Because naturally it's a plus 5. Okay, then yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. And what did you roll, Divi? She uh, rolled a 10. All right. So, uh, Divi, you take 22 damage. Ouch. You guys take half. Uh, What kind of damage is it? It is acid damage. Okay. As a invisible net falls on top of you. And also, uh, if you are now restrained under an invisible net covered <laughs> in acid. Weird. I'm sorry, you said how much? 20? 22. So we take 11. Yeah. Ah, fine, I'll take the 11. I thought you said you removed the curse. What just happened? Well, I used remove curse on the box. I don't know. I guess it was a trap, maybe? I don't know. Man. That's really suck hard. at this. Get me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I, I noticed that the anchor has been touched or broken recently. There's like something that was broken. Some, bro uh, some frayed ropes by the anchor. The anchor was released recently. I feel like that's somewhere we should check. Check for what? Check for... I don't know. Also, it's you guys start to... uh, you start hearing... Now, what do you mean, Tony? <laughs> oh my There's god. There's no such thing as ghosts. Get... Give me another thing. There's probably some kids playing a trick on you. Get back to your post. Uh, I'm going to uh, cut the net with that sword. Okay. Off of uh, Neely. Alrighty. Oh, because since it was supposedly coated in acid, I don't want to touch it. Very astute. Did you cut it with your broken tip? No, I cut it with this sword here that I found in this cabin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cabin sword. <laughs> I shall dub the cabin sword. <laughs> the sword of cabins. You shall be the, the sword. <laughs> Nose storm. <laughs> Inside force.
Uh, where did I hear the it's coming from? It's coming from below, basically. Was it coming from this side or this? From side? the north. 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 Pretty much straight so like, north. Straight it's north. Like here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that is um, a good astute area of description. I. I think it's our time to leave. I think we've gotten uh, well, enough. Fine with me. Puts the coffer back in his backpack and puts the backpack on. I want to make my way over to the anchor chain. <laughs> okay. I want to I climb shall down follow. the anchor chain. And I figured you might say that. I'll follow too. All right. No, uh, I think we them. all know what we need to do here. Yep. Mega oh. roll. Hiya. It's Ooh. an athletics roll, yeah. I would assume, yeah. Since uh, we're climbing down the chain. Yeah. You're sixteen for my athletics roll. Fifteen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! I'm going down first. <laughs> and then you come after me. Oh. Well, yeah, that's going to be an interesting... Well, I mean, it wasn't a fail. It was close to a fail, but it's still an 11. It is, uh, and that's above average. I just don't know if uh, 11 can take 400 pounds of Goliath down a old rusty... <laughs> chain of an anchor <laughs> with no issues what do you guys think should it i don't know if that should be up to me should that be up for fate because i'm not sure roll a d100 uh, all right we're gonna leave it up to you michael high or low you know what let's go high ah oh, you lucky buddy so you slip a bit but you hang on to the chain and you start uh slowly climbing down as you are not in the best of uh form right now apparently <laughs> for whatever reason because you suck <laughs> <laughs> but uh, dice, yeah. dice gods fucking hate me man <laughs> i'm not gonna say no but i am gonna say ha ha <laughs> <laughs> the, the the nelson laugh ha <laughs> ha <laughs> but from god <laughs> Oh, great. Our god is Nelson. Yeah. Maybe he's not wrong. Maybe that's the actual thing the symbol's for on those gloves. <laughs> the, god of the god of Nelson. <laughs> King of bullies and laughs. <laughs> oh my god. I love D&D. But yeah, so you guys are definitely descending the... Uh, the ship's anchor and you know that'll take a while if there's anything you want to do or talk about on the way down that's up to um, you as we pass the frayed ropes i don't know how far down the actual frayed ropes were uh they wouldn't have been too far down so they oh, would have okay. been they're hanging down but maybe like 15 20 okay. feet so maybe half quarter way down the chain so as we pass them i just kind of want to look at them a little bit more closely and see if I could tell a little bit more how they were disjointed, but... Uh, it really looks like something pulled them apart, kind of, but not from the front. It almost looks like someone, like, whacked at them until they split. Kind of like, kind of like lumberjacked it. Somewhat, yeah. It's very gotcha. interesting. Huh. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Keep just climbing down. I'll also look out to see if there's any soldiers coming. That's a good plan. I like that plan. And uh, you... Uh... As you are descending, because... Oh god, no, not the whole place. Ah, uh, there we oh, go. No. The whole world moved again. It wasn't me this time, it was the world that moved around me. 
Now the world <laughs> is falling, and the ship is staying still. Uh, but uh, you, you go to look down, and uh, he is, like, right here. And basically, the chain goes off of the tail end, like, right here. And he is, like, right uh... here. Oh, shoot. He's, like, right there. And you guys are going to okay. be coming down, like, right there. Right there. Are we coming down in some rubble? Rocks? No, like, it's really weird how, like, the, the anchor seems... It's almost like the anchor hit the ground first next to the inn, and then the ship landed on it. Okay. So, like, it's... Or not on the inn, so the anchor is still, like, to the right of the inn by, like, a foot or two. Well, the rubble that was the inn. Gotcha. Complete with dead bodies. Mm, mm. Delicious. No, uh -huh. um, They're naturally nutritious. <laughs> well, oh, Jesus. They're magically nutritious. Um, okay, I'll just, I'll just kind of try and hush everybody as they're getting to the bottom and point towards where the guard is. Okay. And kind of motion to say, let's let's make our way up this way instead of going that way. Kind of be... Seems like a good plan if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I've never heard one, but seems like a good plan. <laughs> Said Michael's always the one making plans, which is why. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong. They usually aren't good plans, but they're somewhat creative sometimes. That's sometimes true. they're good, and he just rolls low. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Story of my motherfucking life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Axel, it kind of hurts to say this, but, uh, I'm glad you're not super popular on YouTube, <laughs> so people can't see all my fuck ups <laughs> yet. This reminds me, I just I just got a Patreon subscriber today for those videos too. Oh Jesus! Not no. for the D and D yeah. ones though, unfortunately. Oh. Luckily for you. So, but I'm gonna go tell them all to watch you and your dumbness. And, this is, and thank you. <laughs> you. Don't forget to check out this. It's like don't forget to check out this nub. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just very unlucky with rolls. Clearly. <laughs> so I assume we're just dismounting the ship then? Yeah, I would just dismount and just... I would, yeah. I give I would, that a four out of ten. No, <laughs> give that a four out of ten. I would help everybody get off of the chain as stealthily as possible. I feel like that is what will lead is some stealth rolls. You don't want me to stealth. <laughs> if you go oh. regular, you're just gonna be versing his attention. No, no, no. I have a zero to stealth. Not only do I have a zero to stealth, due to my plate armor, I have disadvantage. Yep. Luckily, I have disadvantage have too, but I also have proficiency stealth. Ah, fucking Christ. And Boy. that was god awful. So, here's my first roll for stealth. It's pretty good. And now I gotta do my disadvantage roll. <laughs> oh, look. So better than mine, and I have a good. And what did you roll, Gamma? So, I rolled a 7 and a 2. So, I have a total of 8. Hmm. Divided by 2. <laughs> Divided by 2 times the square root of pi means you made too much noise. Yeah. Who goes there? What's going on? Hello? And he starts to come around. Uh, I'll go in like my my craziest wench. I'm guessing this is the same guy <laughs> from earlier who was scared away. <laughs> I'm gonna go in my crazy wench voice. 
and try to intimidate him away. <laughs> Do not get close to me! I will feast on your entrails and poop you all over the world! And you will be scattered in all of the world, and the planes will know of your existence from my feces. <laughs> Why do you sound like my wife, Nesk? <laughs> should I roll an intimidation check? Yes, yes, yep, you should. Absolutely. I got a 10 total. <laughs> Yay! Let's see how it goes. He's like, you're not, you're not fooling anybody. I saw you climb down from there. Also, you, you a big bitch, Nesk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna step up and use my persuasion on him. You didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure I did. Aren't you a paladin? Aren't you supposed to be upholding the law? That's besides the point. I feel like that's exactly the point. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck you, you you're also oh. a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna bat my eyes and ask him to <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> just, let us... Just, just let us fail Whoa. in peace. <laughs> let us fail in peace. This is why 3D slash failing productions has always brought the best of bad material. Alright, so what, charisma? Uh, yep. So that would be... Uh, I guess you could do persuasion, which is probably an even uh, higher bonus for you. Uh, well, I, oh, sorry. I think... Wait. I just did a regular charisma. Don't mind that one. Okay. Uh, what do I need? Um, Plus 13 for persuasion. What the she's, F? She's yeah. a fucking bard. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. She's so a that, fucking bard. That, that. If she wants to do something in so the that, game, she gets to do something in so the game. Plus 13 to that 10 is a 23. Oh my god. So, barring a fucking critical role, she gets to do whatever she wants in any town she wants, and that's what the bard is. Unless I make an equally charismatic character to fight against her. Yeah, no, I See, rolled a three. I uh, I helped her make so that character. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I can tell because she has 20 fucking charisma. Which uh, which means you put all of her points into her fucking charisma. Fuck yeah, I wanted to make sure, unlike Dave, she could actually get... Like I said, this is, you have enough charisma with that kind of score and the proficiency level on bard shit that you literally can talk your way out of any situation almost. She the basically only has exception proficiency on her charisma uh, or on her persuasion. Mm -hmm. Yes, because she gets yeah, it's fucking. Ridiculous. God damn. Like I said the only things that you yeah, cannot bro. talk out of it are things that are too stupid to be attracted to you. <laughs> It's a good thing those enemies are coming. <laughs> just like bat size. Oog. If that wasn't gonna work, I was gonna use vicious mockery and. <laughs> it's also good. It's your bad. mother was. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's your go-to cat <laughs> cry. God, that reminds me of when Lotus played the old Spice class. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I love it too, cause you just assumed he was playing the same class as you, cause it's fucking basically the same <laughs> that's when we were both bards wasn't it well he wasn't a bard he was the fucking old spice guy <laughs> that's the point it was so yeah, similar to the yeah. bard right, you're on the boat. anyway uh he's like yeah you guys are uh okay pretty lady basically i don't know if you ever seen bowie hancock but it's just like that you're pretty so it's fine <laughs> oh thank you I feel like I feel like Neely like skips away and I'm just like I'm just like hunched over just like yeah. I should do way better next time I need to do better I'm just gonna slump myself away like a slug just pat pat there there them too. don't patronize me don't patronize <laughs> me with your pathetic sympathy I want my no, mirror. This wasn't sympathy. I was just wanting us to move. I just wanted to, to uh, you know, show you how much better than I am. You <laughs> think? I am obviously. So is this the inn that we were actually staying in? Yeah. Oh damn it! 
I thought oh, that was a shit. lie earlier. No. Nope. Nope. You are homeless. <laughs> also, all your but... stuff was there. Mm-hmm. Well, all of, all of their stuff. Anything you weren't carrying on your person. Yeah, and looking at my character sheet, I don't have money on. Me. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that off as that is now underneath this giant ship. Yes, and <laughs> probably burned to nothing. Well, I have uh, 25 gold pieces. It's not bad. I say we find a pub or something. <laughs> Hopefully, what? this wasn't the only one in the town. Who wants to buy me drinks? <laughs> <laughs> I feel we could all use a drink. Yeah. Man, I thought I was getting to that guy with the old hag thing. And... <sighs> I I thought you did a very good job. You just hear him saying from the distance, me. you're bad, intimidated, but it was a good try. <laughs> <laughs> Don't patronize me! <laughs> I will continue patronizing you. Bring out the catapult. <laughs> Bring out your dad. <laughs> Bring out I'm, your dad. I'm getting Dum. better. Bring out your dad. <laughs> I am not yet dead. I can do the Highland Fling. I am not yet dead. Oh, man. All right, so... Can we find a pub? <laughs> yep, now, they need, now you guys got to find... Uh, Technically, gotta find your fourth member too eventually, but he's not here this session, so. Yeah, My no. character already long forgot about him. Yes. It didn't involve hers. <laughs> I mean, it did, but it didn't. Yep. I need to find a blacksmith to fix my sword. He's just been progressively getting his name wronger and worse wrong. and worse and worse. It's gone from. Decade. What is it, Decker? Decker. Decker to Descartes, Derek. To, to Derek, to Dirk, to David. Dirk, 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 I love living in Colorado and ha being able to, like, pull those jokes on people. I'm just like, I've actually been to South Park, bitch, and it is actually as shitty... Well, it used to actually be absolutely as shitty as the fucking show made it seem. <laughs> like, when you see it and it's, like, on one lane, that's South Park. It is one... It was a one-street town. Gosh. That you drove through on the way to, like, fishing and shit. Did they get better because oh, it's people going just because of the show no all of colorado just kind of grew some of the mountain stuff but it uh it got a little bit of popularity there but the people who are from there and who made the show like left as soon as they got big and like have showed no love to the area at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're basically like i'm out fuck you guys this place sucked and they're not okay, wrong guys, i'm not going home but now they have like a skate park and they made some jokes about it in the more recent seasons where they're like oh they're you know, they're homogenizing. It's like they got, like, one store up there now. <laughs> it was... It's funny, though. It really was, like, such a little shit town. That when that show came out, that's why it was even funny for us. Was we're like, yeah, make fun of it. No one cares. No one's actually from South Park. You, like, moved to South Park when you, you're in ready to die or fucking want to get away from the world. It's like the Florida of Colorado. She is very Excuse much you, is. Fuck you, what? <laughs> I mean, you're it's right, like but... It's the state of Colorado. Oh, gee, not that. Sorry, I got this other one. Anyone who watches Hunter x Hunter will get this, though. So I'm putting oh, it in Oh, I've here. seen it. I've seen it. I want to see this. Wait. Wrong in chat. There we go. All right, here we go. Boom. Ha, <laughs> Yeah, before the anime came out and they got the official pronunciation of the name, this didn't work, but it does now. That's fucking great. Because it used to be Gone, but now it is Gone. 
<laughs> it's fucked up, but true. So where are we at again? Oh yeah. Oh. Yes. Uh, you guys, we're gonna say for the sake of argument and time and shit that the pub is nearby to the inn. It's gonna be up here. Well, at least he didn't say that the uh, inn was also the pub. Yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> I mean, we all know what happened at the last inn pub we went to. Hmm. <clears throat> We're not gonna do that again. We we don't we don't talk about that. That's a campaign. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> universe and all that. But anyway, just just wanted to let you know that that is where the inn is. If you guys want to travel up there. Meanwhile, I will get it prepared ish. Those two. Oh, I'm just walking off my my you intimidation see. fails. My intimidation. <laughs> I'm really trying hard to forget about it, but it's really hard. Just, I'm just psyching myself back up. All right, so. Uh, oh, well, how do you think wanna... I feel? This is really bumming me out, man. You guys need to like. You need to get back. over it. <laughs> you need to get over it. Flexes muscles. I'm supposed to be really fucking strong, but I couldn't break a fucking lock. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty pathetic. Yeah, that was <laughs> So the no door is right you, there. No one asked you, God. <laughs> 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 Come down here and say it to my face. Don't actually do that. <laughs> this is like you. He's like, do you want me to look up the, the fucking... This is what comes up when I type in God. Oh no. Oh no, don't. Oh, Jesus goodness. God, what the fuck? And that's why it's it... called God, Nazik. I find it funny. I was clicked over my my character and it brought like those three blobs at the red, blue, green thing at the top and it was perfectly censoring her. <laughs> that's pretty <Right>? funny. <laughs> it was the same for me too. <laughs> when Sensor you click on your little on. character and those little three circles appear well both him and i were clicked on our characters so it censored out what was supposed to be censored <laughs> it was perfect that sounds amazing this also comes up when you type in god the that? fuck I don't know. I think it's Dead Santa. Santa? Yeah, I think that's what I thought. I think it's Dead Santa in like. I don't. I don't know window. how that refers to God, but you know. I don't know, it, man. Like I don't nice make the Santa with three arrows in him on a pool table. It looked like. There's something that's for sure. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you know, there's the bar. The door is here for further references. No, well, I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna go in. Door is like right here. Oh, gotcha. I guess I'm not that lazy that I can still put doors up. <laughs> nah, I just broke through like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, on, yeah. Dude, you couldn't break a cage. You're not breaking up the door. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't break a cage. Look, I'm not the one who didn't break a cage. <laughs> Cough Goliath my ass. <laughs> <laughs> If you were half the Goliath you thought you'd be, you would still be double a halfling size. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what are, what can I serve you guys? And girls, actually. Wow. Well. <laughs> well, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Three of your strongest drinks. All right, three Harvey Wall Crawlers. Interesting name. Yes, stolen. In fact, <laughs> that'll be a copper piece apiece. Hands a single gold piece. Keep the change. Yes, sir. Bites, bites the gold. Mmm, gold eats the gold. The, what? What? 
You have your business and I have mine. Now take your drinks and thank you for the gold. Yeah, well. Yep. Grabs three drinks, slowly backs away. <laughs> <laughs> Hands one drink to Ivana? Yes. Okay. And then hands a drink to Neely. Yep, we've been through some shit today, and that just topped it. <laughs> yeah. I think these are very well deserved. Oh, for sure. Didn't we have a fourth person with us at some point? Yeah, he's being questioned right now. Not much we can really do about that. Well, he's actually got it better than us right now because he's a place to stay the night. <sighs> Don't remind me. At which point this guy wakes in and he's like, can I get some drinks from the bar? Oh. Yeah, go excuse, for it. Excuse me, um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, can I get some drinks from the bar? Get the fuck out of here! But I just want drinks from the bar. You know you're not allowed in here, sir. Get the fuck out of here. I want drinks from the bar. And once once I'm hearing that, I'm turning around. I'm just like, I'm just watching it at this point. Well, I'm keeping my eye open. Give, give me my drinks. What do you mean your drinks? These are my drinks. This is my establishment. You have no gold. Get the fuck out. Sir? Let's take a drink. And he falls over and passes out. What's his story? Uh, that's Catharis. Yes! 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 <laughs> Fucking Catharis. Don't know how long he's been here, but he won't leave. And he's always drunk, but I never serve him anything! He makes no sense! I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna kick him in the ribs. No, that's yes. Actually, yes. Yes, do it. Do, do it. it. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kick him do in the it. ribs. You kick him in the ribs, and uh, Duck shows up in the doorway. Yes. Yes. Do I notice a duck in the doorway? I'm you, sad for whatever reason, when this duck comes into the doorway, everything stops. Like, like it's like the music just got pulled off on the record player. Um, I'll look over to the duck, I guess. Quack. <laughs> the, the duck quacks in a very fancy accent. Uh, quackity quack. Sigh. The, the duck actually sighs. <laughs> does he say the word sigh? Yes. Or does he no, sigh? he like, actually <laughs> says the word sigh. It's a um, Pokemon, Vegeta. What? Does anybody else know what's going on right Technically, no, but they do. I, I, but I am I am saying that to the bar. Yeah, no, the, the bar is just like, that's Donnie. Hey, Donnie. Quack. Yes. yes. Oh. Uh. He's, he's... Hi, Donnie. Quack. Yeah, so that's Donnie. Donnie is a duck. And he's one hell of a poker player. Is he now? Yeah. Unfortunately... Nobody speaks duck. Hmm. Except for Catharis, apparently. I don't speak duck! Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, use my lay on hands to do a 5 HP and cure Catharis of our neutralized the yeah. poison. <laughs> yup, that technically works, which I always love. <laughs> Paladins can get as drunk as they want to. <laughs> it's like I'm going to die from liver poisoning. Wait! All right, next round. <laughs> so yeah, I I restore five HP to him and neutralize any poisons affecting. He pops up. He's like, "Holy shit! Thank you." 
feel like I've been drunk for 500 years. How but I'm only sure like 20 it? years old. Right, Donnie? Quack. Cool story, Donnie. <laughs> so, who are you guys? Thank you for healing me. Uh, that's pretty much all I remember from the past. Actually, that's pretty much all I remember. Hello. <laughs> I'm confused. What the hell is going on? I'd like to know that too. My name's Catharis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Catharis. I am Kapura. Ah, Kapura. I like that name. I'm gonna call you Poro. Hi, Catharis. I'm Neely. Neely, I'm going to call you Poro. Oh, God. No, don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> Compare me to him. And what's your name? That duck just talked. Don what? Donnie Nobody. doesn't. Donnie doesn't. Nobody. He said the word sigh. Yeah, I mean, he makes, like, he does onomatopoeias, but he doesn't talk. I am. I'm walking into the corner. I'm just going to sit down, face the wall, <laughs> drink. <laughs> I like that guy. This that day, that this day. <laughs> Ships Just. fell out of the sky. That was fun. That hurt, <laughs> huh, Donnie? Quack. Wait. <laughs> hurt. Yeah. Starting to clear up now that I'm not drunk anymore. What what do you mean it hurt? Did it didn't land on you, did it? Oh dear lord, no, that would have killed me instantly, I'm sure. Just like all those people we landed on. Wait. We landed on? Well, Donnie is not a very good flyer. Quack. Yes, I know you can actually fly, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I fucking love it. Poor Gamma's a lot. <laughs> God, d ships are falling out of the sky. I can't intimidate a dumb freaking soldier, and there's a duck trying to say words to me. That soldier this kept rolling the like worst day. <laughs> that soldier rolled like seventeen on all those intimidation checks. Oh my god! He did no pluses, and he just was rolling really good. And then we got to the one with Diffy, and he's just like, "Well, I can't beat that anyway. I'm just gonna roll a three. <laughs> But so, yes, this is, if anybody can feel free to explain these characters if you like, but I feel like they're best with no explanation because you guys never got any. So, okay. I can You're telling me. comprehend languages and talk to the duck. You can. I, uh, so let me get this straight, Katharis. You were flying that ship. Well, technically Donnie was flying that ship. Okay. Which is why we Nonetheless, crashed. Nonetheless, you both came from that ship. Yeah. How did you acquire said ship? Well, and you're not going to believe this, I guarantee you. Probably not, but try me. So me, there me and Donnie were chilling. Just hanging out, talking about the, you know, the Lord's prissy air boy of a son when we just fell into this fucking hole and the next thing I know we're on a ship in the sky and I freaked out so I figured well we're on a ship I should probably drop the anchor Donnie screamed no and then everything kind of goes blank for a little while. Quack. Yes, I know that you told me not to, Donnie. Quack. Donnie, this is not a blame game. <laughs> so you you fell into a hole. And you landed on a flying ship. 
Yeah, I'm, I feel like I made it pretty clear. Quack. Yes, I know it sounds confusing, Donnie. How... How... How do you fall in... Were you on the ground? Was this hole in the ground? You know, I'm pretty embarrassed to say this. But I was not watching where I was going. And I, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so so the hole was in the ground. I you think fell so. fell in a hole. Yes. And somehow the hole led you down up into a flying ship? I mean, that's what I said. Quack. Yes, Donnie, he speaks common. Scratches his head. <laughs> Quack, Donnie, I can't say that. Quack. I'm, com I'm coming back over to the bar. Do I know what Donnie say? Did you use your... Uh... Yeah, I used ca uh, cast... Uh, you do, in fact, know what Donnie is saying. <laughs> and it's something you most likely can't repeat. <laughs> Yes, physically. <laughs> My character just laughs. <laughs> and sips her drink. <laughs> Catharsis is going to give you this horrified look. Who, me? Yes. What? <laughs> it's just, what are you looking at? It's like, how would you laugh at that? Quack, Donnie, <laughs> no! <laughs> I understand his sense of humor. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Quack. Donnie, yes, I do have a sense of humor. <laughs> Apparently you do not. Quack. No jokes don't go over my head, Donnie. Jokes can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Would you catch it? Nothing <laughs> <laughs> oh, goes over my head. I'm too my fat. reflexes are too <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fucking very much. Tracks. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, but this and, is... And Gamma, this is why Catharsis is such a great fucking character. <laughs> Catharsis is our, uh, is our recurring impromptu character. Uh, Think I'm... of him as sort of like Stan Lee, but not the creator of the universe. That would be cool. <laughs> He's just a random person. <laughs> Yeah, if I I try to explain to someone, but I think the best way have you seen Yu Gi Oh the Abridged series? Which I haven't. Ah, that's rough. Then this won't make expense. But he's Tristan. <laughs> I I feel like I could understand what a Tristan would be in an abridged he's series. A squirrel from uh, Ice Age. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not a bad. That's it's pretty <laughs> oh, close. He's it's, it's kind of like that. It's very, it, it's very much similar to that, but it's slightly different. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of another example that is very similar to those two. Uh, have you seen Red versus Blue? Yes. He's like Church. Oh. Or not Church. Uh, Caboose. Sorry, Caboose. Oh. He's very much like Caboose. Like he's stupidly <laughs> so, so stupid. What this is, is this is when Caboose went into the Halo Reef camp. He's kind of <laughs> yeah. That's basically. It's like he's like he has crossed over and he's like, well, I'm here. But wasn't that, okay. Caboose also voiced voiced by Gavin? No, he's voiced by oh, Joel. Joel. Joel oh. Heyman. He's one of the only things that Joel actually does on the show, or for Rooster Teeth at all. Yeah. But he's very much loved for it. Joel is very much oh, loved he's for. Amazing. Oh yeah, he's great. He's very because Joel is Caboose. Let's like without the fact oh, of being yeah. that actually stupid, but like. This, the the levels of stupidity you see him thinking on are the levels I shoot for. So he's a combo of, like, Caboose, Tristan, and just, like, the dumb characters that are also just have, like, super amazing powers. You know what I mean? This is like, oh, yeah, he's super stupid, retarded, but God gave him, like, inhuman strength to make up for it. It's like, really? I've never killed a mammoth before. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I've never killed a manticore. I actually have killed a manticore. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, and then Donnie is an even more recent introduction. He is Catharsis' sidekick, but he quickly took the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> because Donnie and Catharsis play off each other very well, because Donnie is basically 
uh i mean no one really knows even i actually like i know who Catharsis is and i have a whole back everything for him and they like i i even write explanations of how he's in every campaign i i, I don't even know who donnie is <laughs> Jeez. Don only donnie he's a only donnie he's, an he's in a that's literally i think what i described him as when he showed up it's like when is donnie's mystery wrapped in enigma but he's a duck <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's Donnie Ducko. Which Donnie Ducko didn't actually come in until recently in the yeah, main camp. I think he's only like two or three sessions old. Yeah. <laughs> but he has been so we loved. Him in the second town. <laughs> yep. You literally meet him at the start of the second town when Catharsis shows back up. Because Catharsis is a recurring character even in the main campaign. He just doesn't, he's not always there. Like he's there gotcha. for when he needs to be, to like and move things along. Runs off. Yep. Whenever I feel like taking him. I mean, he they follow natural courses. They have their own motivations and reasons for doing things. Except for Donnie. Who the fuck knows with Donnie? <laughs> but everybody else in town, like, sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But I usually have NPCs that I know are going to interact with you moving in the side and like doing their daily stuff. So like the dogs mm. will take laps, the laborers will work. The guards take shifts. Right. Bullcrap, you know. And Donnie and Catharsis do whatever the f they do. Apparently, Catharsis is drunk as fuck. Well, the guard jumped! You know, he's like, you know how hard it was to get that buzz? Oh, that's nice, but. This you asshole know. won't serve me any liquor! Well, what did you do to deserve it? Nothing! Quack! Shut up, Donnie! <laughs> <sighs> like I said, that's the other reason, is I don't actually have to make lines for Donnie! <laughs> All of his lines are inferred, which are the best lines. Thank you, imagination. You... I'll, I'll, I'll buy another beer for my new friend here. Quack, Donnie says he wants one too. Wait, okay. you drink, Donnie? Quack. Two two beers for my two new friends. Thank you, good sir. Quack. The bartender looks down and he's like, okay, I guess. But only because only cause it's Donnie. And because you gave me a gold coin. <laughs> but here you go. And he uh, grabs some drinks, he gives them to you. He's, they seem fairly stiff. Hands a beer to uh, Catharsis and puts the beer on the floor next to Donnie. Donnie, like, puts his beak in and then immediately pulls his beak out and the beer is just immediately gone, basically. <laughs> I, I I was just watching that entire thing and then one beak comes out and it's just gone. I'm just slamming my head against the bar. <laughs> over and over again. Just, just, why? I, I pat pat the back of her the back of her bag. Like it's okay. <laughs> Today's just not your day. <laughs> fine. It'll be fine. In any case, I think me and Donnie were hanging out to the to the east of town when we fell in the hole. Quack. Okay, sorry. The west of town. Whatever. West. I know. I know my directions. <laughs> <laughs> to the west of town, you say. I said the west. Quack, I know that's not a word, Donnie. It's pronounced way -ost. <laughs> Quack, no, I'm not mixing up my directions. But, yeah, he says if you go out the bar, you take a right, and you go for... Quack, that's not a unit of measurement. Quack, he said go for 500 turtles. I am now laying on the ground, <laughs> sprawled out, trying to figure out what the meaning and the purpose of an existence is now that there is this, this interaction happening. <laughs> All of Meanwhile, reality bends. Aura and Neely are taking it in stride. <laughs> to be yeah, fair, they, doing... they have seen this in a past life. <laughs> My life, I've lived. 
<laughs> Long and have I lived, never. never. <laughs> have I ever experienced ridiculousness as this? So we have Gurn Gobblesnap. That whatever that god was. That who's the real god? <laughs> that was the funnier part. Is that one's one hundred percent D and D canon? It's Garf Glitter Glitter Gold. Glitter Garl, Glitter Bud. Garl Glitter Gold. We'll just call him GG. I just love it because it was an entirely wrong pick, and then we went to look him up, but we just looked up whether or not he would be vengeful. We never look. It's like, let's just look up what we know about this god. <laughs> just a general, like, do we know what he does? Like, what's he got of again? I don't know. No, I don't care about that. I don't care. I don't care. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. I love that. Catharis, so, uh, how about... You, Donnie, and my companions here take a walk to find this hole. I don't feel like I'll fall in the hole. It was a real bad trip last time to get back I, here. I didn't say fall in the hole. We they probably don't even the walk. They probably just levitate. You know, Donnie <laughs> seems to sometimes. I swear. Crack, yes, I know that's flying, ah! Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, crack. Just like, yes, Donnie, I know that's called flying. Oh my god. Look, Welcome Donnie. To Axel's best character ever, Gamma. <laughs> the funny thing is, they're all fairly memorable once they stay around for any amount of time. <laughs> but these two are just special. <laughs> they break. Forever will hold a place. Oh, I, in part. I completely love these characters already <laughs> i told you their <laughs> character is so confused oh no in in real life their other characters were also like michael was pulling his hair out at this one town where they originally sh show up with fucking oh Thars. My God, it was the worst. but all of the characters are memorable i bet you, you can name half of them right now <laughs> well i know donnie well, you, I nice mean them, because they've seen them, but, like, they uh, usually, and I'm talking minor characters that were around for one session. Good old oh, wow. Barth Bartholomew Benjamin. Yes. And then that It was old Benjamin Bartholomew, goddammit. <laughs> Sadly, I can't remember the name of the old lady. Oh, Gertrude. Yep, Gladys Gertrude. Yep. And I know what you, you remember what Gladys Gertrude gave you. The only important- Herpes! cookies. The only person that I've come across is Mike. <laughs> well, you got to meet uh, Lily. I mean, Bartholomew. <laughs> oh, yeah, he and I became friends. Yeah, when... Uh, when oh, uh, my mimic. Yeah, don't forget when about your mimic. When we first met Benjamin Bartholomew, he was actually shape-shifted into a dog, which our paladin... <clears throat> fucking jewel... Managed to befriend the dog, where I, as a druid, couldn't befriend a critter to save my fucking life. Hey, at least you didn't and spend then, an entire and... day looking for a pet. Only yes, to pet. have her fucking have the fucking dog. On um, first try, that is... <laughs> You literally went around to everything. Ducks, dogs, cats. That's partially what inspired just... me to create Donnie Ducko. I just <laughs> wanted to find a pet for Master. Never yes, really and, did. and Master Master appreciated your effort. But she never really did. <laughs> you know, Jewel so, got another pet later, too. Yeah, we know it. We don't want to talk about that. Yeah, that one got way crazy. So I'm going to walk over here, and I'm going to hold my hand out to Ivana to help her out. I'll, I'll grasp it, and you're and, doing all the weightlifting, though. And I will lift her up to her feet. Ugh. I feel like you're probably strong we... enough to do that without a roll. Yeah. Are we going to so. rest here before we can start doing stuff, or...? Quack, Donnie uh, says rest little... is the best thing for the body. Yeah, because I we got can... pretty damaged at the boat. <laughs> we, uh, we, can, uh, we can make camp outside of town. Because... Considering I only have 24 gold pieces left, I kind of don't want to bribe anyone with money to let us stay somewhere. We had to bribe people with money? Usually that's what works best. But Donnie says she's hot enough that she could do what she wants. <laughs> he 
It's not wrong. <laughs> Quack. Donnie says, baby, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bender. Donnie, how do you even know that? Been hanging around with Nibbler too long. Quack. <laughs> yeah, he says that is a pimped out cape. What the fuck are you talking about, Donnie? You blow my mind sometimes. Look, I'm just gonna get passed out drunk again. No, no, you're not good, sir. He's like, watch me. And then the bartender's like, no, no, you're not good, sir. <laughs> Damn I'm, it. I'm gonna go to the bartender and ask him if we could stay for the night. He's like, well, I don't know. Do you have any money? That's her eyes. <laughs> oh, God, let's see. Where's her roll? <laughs> roll, roll your charisma, your oh. persuasion. Oh, so it's persuasion. Okay. Yep. So you're D twenty plus thirteen. Oh. God, Jesus Christ! I hope you crit fail. That's the I only way I can win oh, right now. Oh, oh my God! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck am I supposed to do against that? I rolled an eleven. <laughs> He looks That's at you and he's like, I it. feel like my, let me, I should roll that with advantage. Let me roll with advantage. Nope, three. All right. He's like, well, <laughs> I really shouldn't do this because I have a wife, but yeah, you can stay here tonight. She can what? Shut up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Quack. Donnie said it's cool. <laughs> So it looks like we're staying here for the night. I'm yeah, just gonna me. fall backwards back onto my bed. Be like, one Take one D1 back. bed damage, Nick. <laughs> one D1 <laughs> bed damage. So you mean one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's what I want to start hitting people with. I, it's like, take one D1 damage. I, I can't believe I made me such a broken fucking character with that high persuasion. <laughs> It's every bard is that way though. Like literally everything that Diffie ever wants is just the highest persuasion character. She also has really high deception. Like really high. I do what I want. She does and says what she won't. You know, that makes me curious. I have to check out my bard I made that's supposed to be her brother. Regardless, Donnie has the highest persuasion. Oh, right. I made uh, I made my bard slightly different from hers, where instead of persuasion, oh, mine's intimidation with a plus thirty. Nice. Mm, yeah, that's right. And a plus ten sleight of hand. And a plus thirteen performance. They're broken as well. The problem is their bards are always support classes. Yes, Damn, that, is, that is true. They're less supporty in this version, though, I will say. They have way more options. I mean, mine's mine's still kind of supporty, you know? Mine knows charm person, healing words, sleep. Like, I mean, some of, it's, some of it's just standard. I mean, most of your standard bard abilities are support abilities. I mean, I can support, I just don't care. She, I just don't. <laughs> I also know uh, speak with plants, bestow curse. That's the thing. A lot of a lot of some of this was like side, not really sidelined. I I like it because it was fitting for the level ten stuff. So like, you guys got the documents already. Those documents would have been a more difficult thing for lower level adventures without comprehend language. But still, it was like it was in gnomish or something. Uh oh. So you could have found someone to read it at some point. Or could have had someone in the party to read it. Could right. Have have. But having like super high charisma to get up in there, or there were there were the nice strength checks or <laughs> different things like that make for a better like level thing. And right. then there's falling through the floor. <sighs> yes. Right, so the floor. Well, uh... To be fair, you fell through, but you both, your fat asses both broke the stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not fat, I'm thick. Same. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, according to every bitch I see say, think, yes, it is. <laughs> they, they need to start using it correctly then. <laughs> it all depends on the amount of C's you use. Yeah, fair. <laughs> all right. So the same we'll as count. fat with a pH. There's a difference. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Count this as a long rest, so I'm just mm -hmm. reset yes. all my shit. Good, good, good. Yes, reset. Mm -hmm. And uh, I figure it's about that time for Diffie. Yeah. Which is good, because I don't want to progress too much farther without fucking Nagi. Decker. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's, it's okay to do little things like that where there was re no real combat and just, like, story development moving the plot along. Cough, catharsis. <laughs> hey, I actually thought there was going to be some fucking skeletons that showed up or something that we'd have to take care of, but no. I was thinking yeah, about it. Anything. Oh, I was, yeah, I thought... I was, I was ready for... I'm going to be 100% on this. Uh, the fact that anything would have lived through that ship is... Yeah. Right. I should have put something in there, though, because people like to fight. Like, I was, I was thinking, like... You said stuff about skeletons. I'm like, oh, maybe there was like a necromancer that took over. The I, I think that's the reason I didn't do it was because I wasn't leaning towards the undead stuff and I didn't want to give a hint that I was. God, Although man. I shouldn't have told you I wasn't because that's not totally true. That's a hint now. What? Well, yeah, now yes. Now we're not going to deal with any necromancers ever. Dead. Cough. So screw you, Paladin. You're worthless. Ha! Just like that cleric. <laughs> Oh, what is what is our other party? What is Decker's? I believe class? is a barbarian. Dang. Could be totally incorrect, but we so so we have a little bit of magic in our palace. It's very our much party. the opposite of the other impromptu game, which is all casters in a fucking and Catharsis whenever he's around, who is a fighter. Damn it. <laughs> And then Donnie. So are we going to continue this one next week? or? Uh, I guess it depends on who's around. <laughs> Very true. But I mean, I'm totally fine doing it next week if it just ends up being a one-off. But I assume we'll get a chance to play it again at some point because it doesn't sound like Jewel is yet ready to come back into the fold. So Yeah. might just be a second running campaign. Nice. Might have fun. It's, it's they're interesting, you know. I, I I try to make the catches and the the scenarios feel real. You know, it's not. There's some things that seem less real. You know, like, all right, go talk to the mayor. Then I'm just gonna turn around and not look at you. Right. Cause I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> and I get paid seven dollars an hour. <laughs> and I don't even know what dollars are. <laughs> even really told me if it's currency or if it's just food or I don't know. It's I just, just hope so confusing. I'm hoping it's not beatings. <laughs> 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 but I yeah, I try to treat them all as unique side characters with their own lives and problems and reactions. <laughs> God damn Harold with an E. <laughs> it's the little things that matter. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah, it's 11 shit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's right a little I later did, than your time. I did not notice what time it was. Yeah, it gets pretty late pretty fast when we play these. This one actually mm -hmm. lasted a little longer than we usually do. We usually try to end by about 8.30 my time, which is like 10.30 your guys' time, I think. And 9.30, Michael's time. Cause he's I think up. I was just laughing too much. I didn't realize. <laughs> it, yeah, once Donnie and them showed up, it was all time went out the window. <laughs> oh, like nothing else sure. matters right now. Oh, I was just it. trying to understand things. And... There is no understanding that character. and it's the Once you realize that, it becomes a fun character. Before that, you're just like struggling to like, as you will, you what? <laughs> Who let this thing inside? <laughs> And why does it have a duck? <laughs> I was I was kind of like 
I was just interested in the in the drunk man for a second, and then I kick him in the ribs, and this duck walks through, and I'm like, oh my god, did I just piss off like a duck god or something? <laughs> like, you, you know, we're not sure if you did or not. <laughs> we what don't. the hell? <laughs> The funnier part, though, <laughs> is that Catharsis is 100% compelling all by himself. But then you add yeah. Donnie into the mix. And Donnie just takes it to another. Because Catharsis is just like that all the time. He's just like, yeah, kind of figured there was something wrong with him. But I liked him. Bastard. Fucking, I can't remember some of the other ones he used. But he had some really good lines in the fucking past episodes. God. That was just a dream. That's my birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> that is a slave tattoo. No, that's my birthmark. Why do we have the same? Stop copying me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, good I, fucking time. I gotta get going. That's, okay. I, I'm, I'm laughing too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, Diffie. Bye. Bye. Bye, Diffie. But yes, it's uh, it's always a fun time in these to just have fun. We we do serious things, you know. It was dark at one that one part of the chapter thing, but you also have fun parts. Oh yeah, for sure. You gotta you gotta know how to balance the two. Definitely. I mean, with it's if it's always dark, there's no counter, there's no contrast. Right. And then you gotta have Donnie. And then there's Donnie, who's just a giant gray area. Oh God, yes. He quacks in a fancy accent. Quack. <laughs> and says the word sigh. He does. He says sigh. That's that's what just threw Ivana off. Oh yeah, he was, also that says was the breaking point. He also says cough. Like if he coughs, he says cough. <laughs> cough. But he does not speak English. And uh, as I said, you'd have to see that it was because they always ask, it's like, you speak duck catharsis? Like, no, I don't speak duck. But then I just understand <laughs> what Donnie says. Oh my goodness. There's other things, the whole fucking quack. I can't say that, Donnie. What do you say? No, I literally can't say that. There's no interpretation into the mo modern tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I physically don't have the right vocal cords to say what he just said <laughs> quack yes i know fuck you and your fancy vocal cords donnie <laughs> one of these times donnie just has to say quack and mean quack he did that his he has actually it's not often though he's he usually does like very short like yeses and nos and then he'll come along with the quack and it's like i do verily believe that they've gone in the southernmost direction as opposed to the direction that you thought they had first gone. It is a dilemma that has quite dismayed me for quite the time, as you cannot understand my particular mannerism of speaking. <laughs> Quack, Donnie, stop using big words. You know I don't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then, obviously, Catharsis is always pissed at Donnie. He's just like, shut oh, the yeah. fuck up, Donnie. It's an inferiority complex. He's just he's just a drunk uncle. He is very much. You know, he's never drunk actually. Except for that he was currently drunk at that point oh, when okay. he got healed. But usually he's like acting drunk and not drunk. Oh. He's very interesting. Sneaky. I really got to go back through and like compile some of his lines cuz he really was one of the funnest side characters that I've had the pleasure of playing. <laughs> he's just so random. In my opinion, he's the best, so... He's probably definitely... I don't know, it's hard, because he's not, like, a very, like, actually good character for a campaign, but, man, is he fun. And he's funny. Yeah, yeah, he is. I dope. just... I remember one campaign we came in, and we literally started the campaign, we're, like, five minutes in, Cathar shows up, he says something, and Michael just dies. <laughs> just literally dies i'm like that's that one got you huh he's like yep that was the one i'm like cool good that's the whole point of catharsis is that he just says something absolutely fucking bonkers and it's done all right i think this is a good point to end this recording